Hey, Brian from Black Seed. Thanks for joining. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Tonight, just in the shop again. Got a package I've been waiting for from Summit. Not a huge, huge bunch of stuff, but uh, show you a few of the small pieces that I got. It seems like on the C10, I'm into all the little things, right? That one, not only nickel and dime you to death, but it's like, man, did I get that hose? Did I get that clamp? Um, now I have a have a whiteboard on the wall with like 75 things on it so it's just every little thing and it feels like I'll take one or two things off and then while I'm working on the truck I'll remember hey I need this one thing I gotta buy another small part for it let's get it ordered so I actually have two boxes from Summit coming in they ship from different warehouses so I thought well I'll open it up see what's actually in here Figure out it's like like Christmas when we get new car parts. So, eh. Let's see what we got. Sweet. Thank you, Summit, for sending that hundred dollar wine voucher from NakedWines.com. Not sponsored, but a uh, hundred dollar wine voucher. Oh, normal crap they put in. Ah, oh, sweet torque converter bolts. Yeah. ARP. May or may not be the right ones. I got a bunch of uh, uh, brake line unions for the flared lines. They sell them in like a five pack for like six bucks. I, I made all the lines for the truck. I, I really try to keep unions to a minimum, but when you're going up around a cross member and then trying to climb a firewall, uh, I, I tried to make the lines as big as I could, but comes down to the unions. These are, for whatever reason, these seem a little heavier than the ones you pick up at like Lowe's. The the wall thickness seems better on them. I don't feel like I'm going to round off the edges when I'm working on them. I need like six inches of heater hose and... Uh, Whatever. I, I bought through Summit because I got free shipping and saved me a trip into uh, the hardware store, O'Reilly's. Oh, I'm going to do a Moroso Ultra 40 race wire set on the truck. Um, the plan is to get them under the header, right? So I want them under the header. I don't really want them seen and then up the back side of the engine. Uh, We'll see how it works. Uh, these, are, these are pretty nice. These are eight millimeter, I believe. So I thought, oh, I'll try those. And they're black. I'm gonna try to make them disappear as much as possible. Uh, oh, and then my uh, rear brake line. Oh, well, this one's from is a braided line from right stuff I actually I got a weld on a tab to the back of the back of the truck one of these numbers right here and then they usually I have a bunch of these clips so you can slide these rear brake lines up in them and clip them on looks like it also came with the same clip <clears throat> and you can see how it has Kind of a groove in it and everything if you haven't done these um you know whatever all your gm cars have them uh this one has some nice rubber ends on them and then it'll mount to the rear axle and split off to each brake line right so this tab you weld that to the uh you can weld that to the frame and then when you put your brake line in, those tabs push into the groove. See the groove on the line? And uh, it just locks it in, so. Pretty nice little setup, basically. You know, everything GM used through the 80s and 90s, and uh, I guess now, uh, has a place to bolt it on. I don't know if I have to 
you know, weld a threaded stud on there or something to make it work on the axle side. But uh, pretty nice line overall. I just hope it's long enough. Hope it's long enough to for the, you know, being bag that it can move through the range of motion on the on the air ride and uh, give me enough length. Uh, I look at it and I'm going, eh, I think it's like 12 or 16 inches, but uh, now I'm thinking maybe it needs to be a little longer. Let's have to look once we get it up there. If not, I'll throw it in my extra parts line and uh, you know use it on another project down the line. It's too bad I got cabinets full of extra parts. I end up buying them or I buy them on sale or find a good deal and I jam parts up in the uh, cabinets. Um, so that's really it. Nothing too exciting tonight. I'm going to throw a couple things together. I'm going to mess with these spark plug wires. I did want to show you something I, I put on the other day. So I had my headers in place and I bought this low car style uh, transmission dipstick from j just some no name off of eBay, right? It, it looked exactly like the low car and I thought, man, it's 30 bucks. Let me try it. it it's not, it's designed the same way as the low car. So I thought, well, 30 bucks. If I don't like it, I can toss it whatever right but check out the location of this transmission dipstick as it ties into my headers right here uh yeah so it will function it will come out it's like a cable on it but i mean it's it's two and a half inches if that off the header and it's behind the header, so don't check it when it's hot, and uh, you'll probably get third degree burns. And I, I don't know, <laughs> I, I don't think it's gonna work. Let me, uh, I really don't think it's gonna work. So you'll come out. It's kind of this cable system, um, just you know, billet handle on it. It, it functions, I guess. I mean, it is the most inconvenient transmission dipstick available. So I, I don't know what to do with that thing. It, I may end up tossing it, but even going GM, old GM style or something, since kind of the motif of the my setup is old GM, you know, valve covers, and then when you see my air cleaner it's just a 60s air cleaner that we're modifying just to kind of make it look like it came in the truck that's it's the idea keep the engine clean hide as many wires as we can and just kind of keep sheet metal on it looking old all right thanks for watching i'm gonna jack with this a little bit uh it's like 45 in the shop it's like 30 outside so the heat hadn't kicked on yet so i'm just gonna freeze here for a minute and try to get something done tonight thanks for watching